said, I pray I've done my work so that when I've gone from here, and all the turmoil through the wreckage and rumble, and through whatever, when someone finds himself digging through the ruins. He said, I pray that somewhere in that wreckage, they'll find me. The Bronx Museum was the location for this year's Mosaic Literary Conference presented by the Literary Freedom Project. The goal of the project is to bring reading back into the community by providing literature and workshops like the one today. This year's theme revolved around American author and activist James Baldwin. Organized Ron Cavanaugh speaks on the importance of the project this year and why James Baldwin was chosen as this year's focal figure. There's so much going on in this country right now between Black Lives Matter, Say Her Name, the recent elections. It just seemed like Don, uh, excuse me, uh, James Baldwin was speaking to all of these issues years ago in the 40s and 50s, and we're still de dealing with them. And I'm just like wondering, like, why are we still having these issues that James Baldwin was addressing 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it just seemed a, like a, an appropriate time to like really examine his work and his legacy. It's very important to push, not push literacy, uh, push literacy into the community, for the community to become more aware of the importance and the value of literature, particularly literature by black writers, because it's a way of expressing our culture, a way of documenting our history. It's a way of finding out more about ourselves in the past and where we can head to in the future. The panel discussion focused on Baldwin's writings and how he's still a great influence today. James Baldwin was dope. He was amazing. He was like Moses. He was just like part in the water of ignorance and self-hatred and everything that is not true. And you know that because when you hear the truth, it resonates with you on a level that you cannot deny. I think we're also living in literary deserts that we're not necessarily reading the best literature and nourishing our mind with the best of ingredients and the best wholesome concoctions that can be offered. And I think that Baldwin offers top shelf high cuisine as far as the arts are concerned. And if you're just being introduced to him, I would start with something like Notes of the Native Son, which are essays or The Fire Next Time, or even the short stories like the one I was introduced to him through Sonny's Blues. Matter of fact, Sonny's Blues I think is a wonderful way to start. For me, especially as a young activist um, in my er day and age now, young era, um, his words just speak to us, I think, right now about how we can uh, take in what's happening, how we can, as a people, especially as a black community, how we can move forward and, you know, what we should be doing collectively to come together. James Baldwin has always I think he's always kind of brought this message of collectiveness as, as human beings that we're all kind of, we're on the same earth. And even though our oppression looks different, we're all kind of tied to the same, to the same burdens in essence. So one person's injustice is another person's injustice. And I think that he always did a great job of bringing, bringing that together and tying that all together um, when a lot of people sometimes aren't able to see the, the, the larger picture. The Literary Freedom Project has programs throughout the whole year. You can check them out on literaryfreedom.org. For Bronsnet, I'm Veronica Guiti.